who's gonna be my next Maddie. Drain your legs and punch your feet! Abby is giving the two of them the exact same solo. It wasn't Kendall solo, it was Maddie solo. Your kids succeed on the backs of our kids. Okay, these look old to me. That was my... She could still, she could still get into this. Here, move. Mackenzie is doing one of Maddie's solos, an iconic solo called Cry. Now, Mackenzie, are you going to fill Maddie's shoes? And we step up to PK Arabesque. And then we jump, we torture tables. PK, PK onto that foot. Straight. Praying. Uh-uh, uh-uh, you just did this again. With just, the top just, of stop head. After, just stop Don't after pull praying. Your head down. Pull your body down and your head up. Arch your back. Let's get Maddie in here and see if she remembers it. That'll be interesting. What do you think of Mackenzie dancing under Maddie, or in the same category, right up against her? What, well, and she's doing her old solo. I mean, it's gonna happen. That's how it is now, because they're 9 to 11. When Maddie dances, she's a breath of fresh air. You're like the stuff we spray in the bathroom. There's a difference. I'm pushing Mackenzie hard this week. I don't want her just to win this week. I want her to win big. I want her to be a name, not just Maddie's little sister. You are going up against your sister. And if you don't step up to the plate pretty soon, you're never going to catch up with Maddie, ever. Are you excited to be doing Cry? I'm excited, but I'm really scared, because I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> so you need to just show Abby that you can do more than just cheesy jazz and cutesy dances. You have to do lyrical and emotion. I know, it's just she keeps saying that I have to do like it, like you, but I'm not you. I'm just trying to help Mackenzie, because after all, I won first place with that dance, and I'm an expert at the Maddie face. Show me the Maddie face. It has to be like. I don't know. You're... They all look the same. They all look like Mackenzie, Mackenzie, Mackenzie. Just good luck. Just be yourself. I don't want anybody saying you're going to do amazing, OK? But you have to use your face. You have to use your point and toes and pointed legs. All right, moving right along, we have act number 22 with Mackenzie in Pride. She was beautiful. Her faces were so sweet, and she smiled when she had to, and her turns were so good. I didn't think of Maddie one time when Mackenzie was doing the cry solo. Who's ready for some awards today? Our second overall goes to contestant number 22, Cry. And our first overall, our highest scoring solo here is 23, The Game of you had the highest scoring solo. Well done. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Kendall, let's go. The title of your routine is The Scream. It's a routine that Maddie would have excelled at. The acting and the crazy part, you need to go 150% across the line if it's going to win. Here, here, hide them, hide them. I'm pulling out all the stops for Kendall. I'm giving her a Maddie routine. Does Kendall have it in her? You know, she's the kind of kid that laughs. She's going to think it's goofy. She doesn't want to do it. Then the tears start. Then we run to mama, and then they walk out and quit. Will Kendall take yet another opportunity and throw it away? And the, the scream needs to be, like, guttural. It's from your gut. Dear god. That's the scream I don't ever Someone want to hear. Someone just cut her arm off. Do it. Ah! No. You're like in your head. Get get in your stomach. Like there's a monster coming out of you. Make the face and let me hear you really scream. Is she my daughter or what? Well, she called it a Maddie solo. I mean, has so she ever funny. given Kendall something and then called it a Maddie solo? I don't think so. That's a huge boost. Like I'm giving you a Maddie solo. She laid the gauntlet down for Kendall, you know? But in her eyes, no one will ever 
live up to what she did with Maddie. Abby said it's a Maddie solo. In my mind and Kendall's mind, leads us to believe this is gonna be great. I just wish that Abby wouldn't always go back to Maddie. Maddie chose to leave. Let's move on. Let's make it a Kendall solo. If you go out there and you don't nail this solo, no more solos. All right, girls, come on. Let's go. Kendall, Abby has gave you so many different solos, but I don't feel that any of them are like this at all. Yeah. You got it. Abby has been telling me that it's a Maddie solo, but, you know, Maddie just had something about her that made this team even better, and she was the leader of the team. But maybe if I do well, I could be the leader. That's always something I've wanted to do. Because I didn't want Abby to be like, you played it safe. Mm -hmm. No, you did not. You did <laughs> not play it safe. Abby. She's pretty good. Our top teen soloist, the Scream Come On Bingo! decided that Maddie and Chloe should do the same exact solos. Why? Because I am sick and tired of hearing Christy go on and on about the choreography. If you want to do what Maddie's doing, game on. Wait, play yours. Wait, what happened? It is the same. We're in the den, and Maddie decides to play her solo music. And I'm like, whoa. That's Chloe's solo music. So then it finally hits me that Abby is giving the two of them the exact same solo. Why do we have the same dance? It's fine. This week, I think Abby decided to teach me a lesson more than anyone, because I always say, let's even the playing field and see where the chips fall. Chloe, turn around, get in front of the door. She's not letting them watch each other. This is weird. I know. I'm sorry to see them both working on a solo at the same time. The judges will be like, didn't I just see this dance? This is a toss up. And I think both of them want this bad. They're both dancing great. Maddie and Chloe's solos are up soon. This is a big, big moment for both of them. This is Chloe's moment. This is her opportunity to step out there and take that spotlight. Chloe danced beautifully. And if I were Melissa and Maddie, I'd be worried. Anything, anything, anything you dreamed of, anything you dreamed of. Woo -hoo! Thank you. Oh, get away. Maddie bobbled one of her turns. But she did dance beautifully. But I think she could have done better. What happened? Oh, my kids are bad. All of them. Every single one. I know Abby said she gave the girls an even playing field, but I know what I have, evidence of Maddie having an extra private. We have Maddie on videotape learning her solo. Don't even go there with me, Jill. It was the same day. Yeah. You're, Melissa, you're lying. Jill and I found your daughter learning her dance. You, you know nothing. What difference does it make? You all know damn well Maddie can learn to dance in one hour and go out there and do it. The Elite High Point Awards for the junior division in the junior solo category. Second place, entry number 20 from Abby Lee Dance Company, Be Anything. And in first place, entry number 19 from Abby Lee Dance Company, You Can. I'm so happy for Chloe. This is a huge boost to her confidence, and it just proves to Abby once and for all that Chloe is a force to be reckoned with. And we had a goof. One of our judges, they gave Chloe a 
she actually had a 96.6 because they gave her a 27.5 in a category that only had 25 points. That means that the overall winner would have been Maddie. Congratulations, Maddie. Maddie and Chloe, congratulations on being great sports. Mistakes happen. The director of the competition told us that there was a mistake in the scores and that um, I didn't really win and Maddie won. And I was a little upset, but I was really happy for Maddie. So, Abby, how did you discover the discrepancy between the 30 point and the 25 point? I didn't, that came to me. I guess the judges said there's a problem. Once again, you know, this doesn't happen that often at all, but I wanted to say thank you for bringing it to our attention. At the end of the day, I think that Bryn is really competing against Maddie's name. And I've said this to Bryn several times, like, you don't have to dance as good as Maddie. You're going to have to dance a whole lot better because Maddie's name is worth at least 10 points. Number 303, Black Dahlia. I know much more now than many years ago. How can everyone see through me? Hello. You're a great dancer. The lines are there, the feet were beautiful, the control was fantastic. What's going to be the next level for you is the acting. If you do that, I mean, it's going to be a whole nother level. So keep up the good work. You are phenomenal. Let's hear it for Bryn. Very good. Judges, next up, we have number 302, Lizzie Borden. I feel that every time I do a solo, Abby expects me to win, and I do get a little bit stressed out sometimes because I always want to be in my best game and I don't want to mess up on one thing. Gorgeous. I love not only what's in your eyes, but what's behind the eyes. And so that's what scary movies are all about. It's all about what's behind the eyes. And you have an amazing technique that it's just there. Thank you. Nice to see you. Maddie was beyond anybody I've ever seen on stage. It's just so amazing. And she is fabulous. Maddie, I had planned for you to do a solo against Chino this week. The name of the routine is Fool me once, and he's gonna go down in history as your first kiss. Now here's my big problem. Maddie has a great opportunity to be an actress on this web series. She has to shoot, and then she has to fly back to Pittsburgh. And now, they want her to come in on Saturday. Competition is Saturday. Maddie, as you learn your solo, you will have two understudies, which is Kendall and Chloe. Should Maddie have to leave, one of you will go up against Chino. If Maddie were to leave, how would you choose between Kendall and I? Whoever's doing the number right. So you two, better be right on top of it. Oh, that's such a beautiful solo. It would be a good trio. It would be. Or let all three of them, they all know it. They all have a costume. Let all three do it. Yeah. Look, she will not watch Chloe. She did not look up from her phone. I don't think these children believe for one moment that anybody is going to compete this solo but Maddie. It's Maddie's choreography. Right. I believe that. I mean, she already said Maddie has a solo, unless she has to leave. Obviously, Maddie's dancing this week. She's here with Melissa. But you know what? All three of the girls know the number. Let them all dance it. 
I'm gonna say something that you're not going to like and it's gonna hurt your child's feelings. Do you really want Kendall to go do the same dance that Maddie's gonna do after her? I think she's gonna humiliate herself. I want her to have opportunities and that's why I'm here. Well, Kathy's next door. Maybe she could have her dance for her. Maddie will be dancing. Fool me once today. Maddie and Maddie only. That is my final decision. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, is entry number 28. Fool me once. I still don't see why the kids couldn't have danced. Could it be that maybe giving Kendall and Chloe the same choreography doesn't give Maddie a slam dunk win because they might have looked good on stage? Right. And that's what she doesn't want? Your kids succeed on the backs of our kids because in order for your kids to be winners, ours have to be the losers. And your top score for preteen solo goes to entry number 28, fool me once. I am so happy that I beat Gino, and I won't have to kiss him again, which is a bonus for me. The second solo is going to Kendall. Shut up! You will be doing the routine that Maddie did last week. You need to do it better now, because the whole world has seen it. I'm giving Kendall the exact same choreography that Maddie danced. Every single step is the same. Angry! Angry! This is Kendall's chance to show everyone in the whole world she can be the next Maddie. Lazy Relevant, get up high! Abby's really plugging Kendall these days because her last dance she did was a Maddie dance. Now she gets to perform another Maddie dance. Maddie session. dance. Does Chloe get to do this dance next week? Yeah. Ask. <laughs> I don't know why Kendall is getting hooked up with these great solos, but she needs to take it and run with it. She needs to prove to Abby that she can do it. Good. The acting's there. It's the technical things or the dumb, goofy things, or you getting nervous and letting the shoulders hunch. This is my last chance before nationals, and I'm doing Maddie's solo. And if I don't do it as well as her, I'm not going to get a solo at nationals. All right, you're good. Please welcome Kendall to the stage. When Maddie did Fool Me twice, she got the highest scoring solo. And if I don't win, it's going to be scary. Kendall's dance is Maddie's dance. What it look better of it. Kathy's very desperate. You don't talk about other people's children. Don't want to sleep. Kathy can chit chat and screech all she wants. Kendall was great. If anybody has anything rotten to say about that kid's performance, then they're blind. We have the overall solo category. Second place. Fool me twice, Kendall. You took a winning number. Maddie's dance should have went from good to great. Yes. Once again, it goes down in history that Maddie is the only one I can count on. If I want Bryn to succeed like you have succeeded, then it's time for you to kind of pass this torch along. I just mean, you've been successful with this sad, pathetic, melancholy, like, face for so long, the Maddie face, yes? So she's not gonna be you. She's not gonna come close to being you, but we have to start somewhere, all right? So let's go, let's see it from the top. Come on. Still needs to be bigger and your elbows need to be bent more. Maddie turns her head like and gives it a little bit of a um, snake. I don't want these moms to think that Bryn is nervous because she's going up against Maddie. She's nervous because she has a hard solo 
Bryn's solo is so close to Maddie's All God's Creatures solo, it's gonna be easy to compare the two. And if it's not on point with the facials and the acting, she's gonna to get torn apart. Freeze. Okay, right there you had a popped up big sickled ankle. And I know it's the style, but I just wing it. Just get on your big toe and wing it. Yes, there's, that's better, that's great. Okay, you're dismissed. Next up is entry number 97, The Entertainer. Next up is entry number 96. Woohoo! Performing to Broken Dancer. I'm just a homeless girl out on the street. Hope is gone with no shoes on my feet. This don't feel like home. Solo. Brynn is the newest member of the team. All the other girls have had the chance to use their face and be better than Maddie ever was. This is Brynn's big opportunity. Will the judges like her? Hope so. Third place, enter number 96, Broken Dancer. Must be mortified. Next, we have Teen Solos. Fourth place, enter number 97, The Entertainer. Maddie got fourth. What? The fact that Bryn got third and Maddie got fourth just proves that Maddie and Bryn are about on the same level as far as dance ability. Now, I want to touch on Maddie not being here. We all know that she is in Los Angeles. I'm looking for the child who can be my Maddie when Maddie's not here. You're kind of on a different level now, Maddie. I'm gonna use you to assist me in choreographing the other three girls' solos. I've decided to call Kendall's routine not just another pretty face. Your prop is a mirror, because as you look at yourself in the mirror from this side, you see this pretty gorgeous girl. Yet as you turn your face, you will see a scar. Smile, sad. Watch Maddie, just watch her. She's not Maddie. I mean, I get comparing kids to one another, but there comes a point where you have to stop comparing. Everybody is different. What does that do to Kendall's, or any kid's, self-confidence? In Abby's mind, she is building a kid up. It's just not ours. If you can't be the character, you're gonna let Maddie do it. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Kendall. Oh, so she is. Oh, that's oh that costume's gorgeous. That's so nice. The scar looks incredible. Please welcome Kendall performing to Not Just Another Pretty Face. Let's go! So I really hope that Kendall can handle the choreography and prove to Abby that she can do anything that's thrown at her. But who's going to be in that number one spot? Who's going to be my next Maddie? 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to start our award ceremony. Starting with our three teen solos with a score of 280 points. Not just another pretty face from the Abby Lee Dance Company. I'm really happy that I won. I haven't won a solo in a really long time. And I was competing up against Chloe and Mia, so I had a tough competition. And your studio one more time. Abby Lee Dance Company. I think from the beginning of the week, what we said was when we found out that solo was like, had she had Maddie in mind for the solo, you knew it was going to be a good solo. That just goes to prove, because it wasn't Kendall's solo, it was Maddie's solo, and it won. It was great. So can we have that kind that of caliber kind of, for everybody? Right. You're given the tools, and what you do with it is what makes you win. I don't want anybody saying that was easy for Kendall. She had to work very hard to get that win. Kendall. I'm proud of you, because that was to be Maddie's solo, and you did it, and you didn't let me down. You came, and you won with it. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. Kendall proved that she could win in Maddie's absence, but I still think she has a long way to go to fill her shoes.